My name is Damon. I work at New Cipher, and I just wanted to show people how to use some tools that we have for making the operation of an Ursula node actually pretty easy. So um, I made a little outline here. First thing we have to do is get a node. So I'm going to go over to DigitalOcean. I already have two that I've been running for the work lock for a few months. So let me just make one more. Um, doesn't need to be a big fancy one. Uh, regular Intel with SSD. Let's go with that. What does that even mean? Okay. Um, regular Intel. San Francisco. Let's go with uh, Amsterdam just for fun. And um, so the number one important thing is we need to be able to SSH into this node. So uh, I'm using this old iMac, which I don't usually use. Um, I just want to make sure that everything I do today works on some random computer and not the one that I use every day. So, uh, which everything always works on that one. Um, so I think we're all set. I picked the SSH key that is <clears throat> on this computer. And um, let's just do this. Am I exposing myself to any compromising information? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, so this is all we really need right now. Let's just leave that here for now. Next, Python is installed. Yes, let's check that out. We need Python 3. We do have Python 3. And we have Git. We do have Git. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, now that we know we have everything we need installed on the computer, let's just scroll back up and look at my outline. Okay, Git and Python are installed. Okay, now we're going to clone the repo. So, that is... Um, right here. So, um, let's see, let's go to our documents folder. This computer also has a really weird keyboard on it, so I'm going to make a lot of typos. Go get this GitHub re uh, repo address here, git clone that. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to use the actual live uh, checkout of the repo for all this. Um, we don't need to actually install the new Cypher library. We're not going to really use it. We're just using some of the installation tools. Um, so the way we're going to use them is like this. We're going to say Python 3. We're going to make a virtual env, a virtual environment, so that when we install all this stuff, it doesn't actually modify our computer. It just kind of works in this little isolation zone. So Python 3-m vnv, and we're just going to call it env, because that's sort of a standard thing. And now we're going to source it. So now we're sort of like in everything we do will now only apply to that virtual env. So now we're going to install new cipher. Oh, sorry, pip3. Uh, install dash e dot. That basically means take the code that's in this directory that I'm in and pretend that it's like a library I just downloaded and install it. Okay, so we've got uh, the install done. Seems to have gone all right. Now it's time to actually do this. Um, so let's see. Let's go over to the documentation here. New Cypher Cloud Worker Management. So this is a bunch of tools that I wrote because I have to write, run like 10 or 20 nodes for test nets and all kinds of stuff. Um, so this makes it easy to do that. Uh, we're going to do this one command called add, add an existing host to be managed by Cloud Worker CLI tools. Perfect. Um, because we just created that node. So let's find the snippet for that down here. Okay, new cipher cloud workers add login name Ubuntu. Paste that down here. <clears throat> DigitalOcean the login name is root. And then we're gonna need our IP address of that node that we just created, which I secretly wrote down over here on the side. 
of the screen that you can't see. Okay. Uh, the last thing we need to do is add a host nickname, which um, is basically how we keep track of this computer. If we happen to have multiple nodes, uh, we'll just call this uh, install demo. And let's go. Oops, Ansible is required. Okay, so that's something that we don't include in the standard install because most people don't need it. But we can use the handy error message right there and just uh, install it. We got Ansible is done. Um, now we're gonna try that command again. Maybe it'll all just work. Okay, so before we do the next thing, we're just going to test this node out, mostly just to make sure that everything is in place to like install everything and have all the permissions we need. Okay, my terminal wanted to scroll up. Um, so let's just try SSHing into this machine. Um, so let's see, it's root at this. Just make, doing this before we do anything else, uh, kind of um, just make sure that everything else is going to work. So here we are. We're on a brand new machine here. Um, and I guess, do we need sudo? Yeah, okay. So we can. All right. So we tested sudo. Now we're ready to actually do this. Uh, so really all we need to do is... New Cypher, Cloud Workers, Deploy. Um, oh, and the Remote Provider. That's the one thing we need to specify. So that's essentially, in my case, I'm using Infura. So I'm just going to paste that in here. And we should be good to go. So now what is going to happen is this Cloud Workers thing is going to install everything needed, um, basically the whole Ursula worker, it's going to create a an Ethereum wallet for the worker that eventually you will bond the stake to. And um, really it's gonna be up and running. Okay, so my screen recorder crashed pretty much as soon as that started, but it looks like it finished. Uh, let's see what happened here. I'm just gonna scroll back to where, okay, so. What do we do? We created a new Cypher user. We installed Docker. We installed a bunch of other stuff on our node. We added the new Cypher repo. We um, <clears throat> did a bunch of boring things. Okay, we created a Geth account. Um, let's see. Okay, we got our worker address right here. That's our actual uh, Ethereum worker that we're gonna bond the stake to when we stake this node. Really, it's really good to not have to do this by hand. Uh, <laughs> got our signer set up. Um, so there'll be a couple of errors along the way here because this node is not bonded, so it can't actually run on the network yet. But what we really just want to make sure of is that everything got set up okay. We're, we're running, we've got our Infura, we've got our command, we backed up our local keys, we backed up our key store of the wallet that we created. Okay, so let's, let's see what's going on on this node. Um, we're gonna just, check out our config data here. New Cypher Cloud Workers list hosts dash V to get extra data about this host that we just set up. All right, so now there's some compromising information here, like here is my ETH password. Um, you don't want anyone to ever see this stuff. Uh, but most importantly, I just noticed that I used the wrong Ethereum endpoint like this should be mainnet not Gorly. So actually I'm just gonna um, Show you how to change these things and it's really easy. 
So let's do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the command for updating nodes. And this is the same thing that you'd do if there was a new version to deploy or if you wanted to change your... Let's actually also set our max gas parameter as well. So we're going to say new Cl Cypher Cloud Workers update. Uh, and we need to change the remote provider to, um, let's see, I have it right here. Mainnet. And we're also going to say dash C max gas price equals 100. And... This is going to be a lot faster because it doesn't have to actually install everything. All it's going to do is pull the latest new Cypher image, which is great if there's a new version out and you just want to deploy it. You really would just have to do new Cypher Cloud Workers update and that's it, which is pretty cool. Um, but essentially all it's going to do is really just restart the Ursula with new options. Here we see we have the <clears throat> last log line, node discovery. This is good. It looks like everything worked this time. We now have our new provider right there and our new max gas price of 100. Okay, so the update is finished, and um, it seems like everything went pretty well. Uh, the one thing that didn't work is this um, request where it actually queries the node as if it was running, but it's not running because we haven't bonded it yet. Now let's just see what's happening if we SSH into this node. We're just going to look at what the log says. So that's going to be sudo docker logs Ursula. Okay, this is exactly what we wanted here. Loaded Ursula. That's our staker address. No, that's our worker address. Um, and then we have worker startup is paused, waiting for bonding and funding, which I think we'll do in a separate video. But um, it looks like it's all good. And, I mean, just to reiterate, now from now on, all we really need to worry about is new Cypher Cloud Workers update. If there's a new version, and there's a few other options, and most of them are documented here on this uh, Cloud Worker Management page. You could back up the node. You could actually use it to uh, copy your node to a different node. There's all kinds of wonderful, fun things. <laughs> at your fingertips. Thanks for watching this. This is my first instructional video ever. Thanks for uh, your patience. And please, if you ever have any questions, find me and the rest of the New Cypher team on our Discord or in Reddit or uh, Twitter, whatever. We want to help.